Hello everybody and welcome back to Night of the Dead. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu, and in this episode we're gonna uh, yeah we're gonna continue on with our little series of Night of the Dead. Um, so yeah, so I recorded a first look video back on this game. Uh, what was it? A couple of weeks ago now, and uh, yeah, you guys seem to enjoy it, and um, yeah, it, it hit the magical 10 likes that I asked for. So thank you guys so much for smashing that like button. Um, yeah, because obviously it makes me now obviously see that you guys are interested in it so we'll we'll start a little series on it and see how it goes um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this if you do don't forget to smash that like button uh if you do like it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already uh both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively so if you could show your support man i would really really appreciate it uh if you guys would like to get in touch with me in the description down below is all my contact details so you go check all that out uh, if you guys would also like to be in with a chance of winning a giveaway at 500 subs, don't forget to be subscribed as well. Don't forget to come and join the Discord so I can notify you if you win and you can come and hang out and chat and leave your suggestions in there as well. Uh, don't forget to smash the notification bell as well so you guys will be notified when I do upload a new video or when I live stream as well. Um, so yeah, so in the first look episode obviously it was just a basic... Um, just look of the game, see what it looked like, see how it ran and stuff like that. Um, I do have to warn you guys before we set off that... Since I did play it, it doesn't seem to run as good as it did. Um, I know the game's been updated a lot since, so uh, maybe the, I know it. And it, again, it is in early access, so I'm not judging it. But yeah, I think uh, optimization needs to go on a little bit. But I, I, in time, I'm confident that that's going to happen because it is being constantly updated. So I do sort of have high hopes for the developer. Um, but yeah, since there has been quite a few updates, the save that we had, so the first look video that we did. Obviously, that save's been corrupted because of the update, so we're going to have to start a brand new one, which is completely fine by me. So we'll start off by doing a, no uh, a new game, we'll stay on normal, and we'll just go to start game, and we'll just see. We'll just see what's happening, mate. Um, so yeah, so this, well, obviously, I was waiting for this game for a while to come out, and it come out, and uh, yeah, the early signs were promising. Um, yeah, so I want to I want to give a big shout out to uh, Jack2 Studios as well for giving us a key for that first look as well. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, obviously the the game does take a little bit to run. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Obviously, your graphics card needs to be pretty decent, and your processor needs to be pretty decent as well. Um, so yeah, I, I've had to tweak the settings a little bit to get it to sort of run as best I can and look as good as it can as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to check the description down below, you can check my setup there and then you can see how it runs compared to my setup and see if you've got a better one or a worse one. You might have to turn the graphic settings down a bit, which I've had to a t just a tiny bit. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start straight off. Obviously, it says there, destroy cars to get piece of iron. So we do know a little bit about this. Obviously, we had we have done it. Um, so yeah, we just need to oh, not do that. So obviously, we just need to break stuff down. Let's get iron. Right, uh, destroy the paper box to acquire research data. So that's normally one of these boxes here. I'm not sure which one. I, probably one or the other. I don't think it really matters. Uh, maybe this one then. Uh, I want to have a little quick look around at our surroundings as well. Let's see what we've got around us. Oh, it was that one. Okay. Right, so we've got... We're pretty much at the end of the road there. We've got... Looks like... Have we got a small town over there? It looks like... Uh, we've got a big mountain inside there. That's sort of like a, a bunker that we come out of, I guess, after the apocalypse. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a quick place to build, but destroy bush to get a tree branch. Right, okay, we need to equip the knife. And we need to go over here. And, oh, there's a zombie literally right there. We need to be very careful with that. Uh, that didn't give us a tree branch. Maybe this one will. Just crouch so he doesn't see us. Right, we got the branch. I want to pick up these mushrooms as well. And I want to try and see if I can get these ones as well. Let me get us. Let me pick some of these stones up and that as well. Oh, I don't want to go too far that way. Not yet, anyway. Uh, let's come back. We've got loads of mushrooms here. I just want to pick these up for food. Um, I know some of them you can't eat. Maybe you have to cook them in a brew or something to make them edible. Not 100% sure. Right, that'll do for now. Let's come back away from that guy a little bit. I don't know if they just wander around there or whatever. But Right, so we need to craft. So if we press tab and go into our little tab menu, our little inventory. 
uh, and then let's go to click on that and then click craft and then there you go straight in the inventory and then we can click and drag it down to two so beautiful uh, and then destroy trees to get logs so if we press two and we just start hitting up a tree let's back up a little bit make it look a little bit more believable hit it with the end of the axe right build the foundation right now i know we need more logs oh we got an apple oh taste there right now i know we need more logs than just the one tree uh from what i can remember from the first playthrough we did uh, like i said it was a few weeks ago but i do sort of remember quite a bit about it to be honest because I, I obviously i was really looking forward to this game oh got an orange as well uh i'm just trying to think of a place to build uh, let's try and pick up these rocks and stuff. I know these can be quite in important, so I don't really want to miss them. Um, I do want to build sort of out of the way. Uh, there's a, ooh, there's a nice opening up there. Oh, I remember in our first sort of our first look playthrough, we built on a bit of a cliff, and I'm thinking of doing the same maybe up here. At least we haven't got any uh, worry because this game is quite similar. If you guys are not aware of it, this game is pretty similar to um, like um, Seven Days to Die and things like that. So you actually get hordes coming to attack you. Uh, I don't know if there's any. There's a deer over there. I see. I don't know if there's any sort of zombies out in the in the in the forest like this. But um, if I build on here, at least they can't come up from that way, can we? So we can have our back to the cliff, and at least we've got to just concentrate on this way, maybe. Just trying to have a, just a little scout around, see if there's going to be a better place to build or not. Um, I think I'm fairly happy building just on this little ridge here. Let me get these mushrooms. I think, from what I can remember, I think you can eat the white ones. Uh, I quite like up on this ridge, actually. I think we can break these down with a pickaxe. I think there's two lots of mushrooms here. Right, okay. Just trying to see, can we build out this way a little bit? Yeah, like I said, sometimes when you go into sort of new areas, sort of like the game does sort of pause and stutter a little bit. Obviously, I'm guessing it's just rendering in the scene. So, yeah, you guys just have to be aware of that as well. Uh, let me break this down. I know we're going to need plenty of resources for the base and foundations and stuff anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to build it's all right here, I guess. Let's knock this down. Very nice. Uh, yeah, and I want to leave a bit of space sort of for the stairs. So if we go, I think, yeah, it's B, and then the little house, and then floor, <coughs> and then foundation we need. Oh, we need some more vines. Okay, so we need to cut down, we need to cut the, some more of these. I'm going to get quite a few because I, I want to build quite a few foundations off the bat. Obviously, the the tutorial, I guess, is just telling you to build just one foundation. But I want to build more than that. Let's just cut all that down. Is that a freaking duck? Sounds like a duck. Right, let's get some of these bushes. Oh, look, I've got two more vines. Right, let's see. Because I want to try and make possibly... I like this little bit here because I feel like we could sort of run down there, maybe drop down there and not necessarily hurt ourselves if we have to. I've got that rock in the way though, that's not good. That is a freaking duck. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just start our initial base. Uh, right, let's build this. Right, yeah, so the building, uh, obviously you've got the scroll wheel to rotate uh, and you can press Q and E to lower it or higher it, which is really good. So you can put it right down or right up. Obviously, you can only go so high, obviously. Uh, but I think I'm going to go... Obviously, we've got to be careful because... Actually, hang on a minute. I've had a quick change of plan. I don't really want to build here now. <laughs> um, I, I sort of do because I like the cliff area, but it's not very flat. And I think we'll have a problem making our base quite big on here. Uh, so let's continue on this way. I want a nice flat area. Down here is quite nice. Down there is quite nice. Uh, up here is quite sort of hilly and rocky. It's probably not the best place to build a base, I think. 
let's try and see. I'm just trying to gather as I think. Uh, maybe, what if we build it down on the, like, do it the other way? So why don't we come and build it down here? And then have that as a little bit of a retreat. Like, we could have our back to that, maybe. Uh, but again, it still needs to be fairly flat. I want to stay quite close to the town as well, I think. Uh, I do like down this area, though. Like, it's nice and flat. What is that? Is that like a wolf or something? Right over there, where my little crosshair is. Looks like something, anyway. Right, so let's sort of head back here. This is a quite a nice area. It's quite nice and flat. Yeah, there is like a town down there. Oh, there's a house. There's a thing right there. Uh, I don't want to go too close. Um, we've got plenty of trees here to cut down for logs and stuff. Yeah, there's something over there. I'm sure there is. It's sort of like not moving though. Maybe it's not rendered in yet, but I can see it. Oh, it's like a fox. Okay. Phew. Um. Right, let's go and build. Let's build right here. Let's put one right here. And we can have a little look. Right, so let's rotate it and let's have it. Uh, I want to bring it down a little bit. How's the highest we can have it? If we bring it one down, press and hold that. Right, and then you can press Alt to snap it, but the snap's a little bit off. Uh, so let's press and hold and build that one. Then how many more we can build? What do we need? Uh, what are we, what, sorry, what are we lacking for any more? We are lacking logs. Okay, well that's pretty simple. Let's cut down some trees then. I'm going to try and do, like, possibly a 3x3. Three three, if I can. I'm going to switch to the knife, because I'm going to need some more vines for that. Can this tree, like, move? Alright, let's uh, chop down another tree. I'm just trying to scan the area as I, as I go. But yeah, this game is very, very beautiful. And it's very... It, it, it runs decent. I think sometimes you've just got to be aware of, obviously, the, I guess the um, specifications to run it. Might need to tweak these settings down a little bit, like the uh, graphics or whatever. But, yeah, overall, it's a very, very nice game. All right, let's put that one there. Put one there. Uh, maybe go this way. What are we missing for it again? All right, so we need, we need a few more logs. Uh, luckily, we've got trees around here, so that's nice. Get two. Let's get. Oh, hello, cheeky. All right, let's get. Oh, hello, cheeky. Hit the tree. Thank you. All right, we're getting seeds as well. So obviously, you can build uh, gardens and stuff like this in the game as well. So that's really cool. Nice one. Nice one. All right, that should be enough for our initial base, I think. Uh, hopefully, he says. All right, let's go. Uh, let's build this way. Can I pick up these mushrooms first? I just don't want to lose them. I don't know if like if you build on something, does it destroy it? I'd rather not destroy anything. Uh, let's cut this up. Just in case I want to go this way. Right, okay. Let's have a look. I think I want to go this way though. Right, so let's try and snap that into place. Beautiful, there you go. And now we've got to build some stairs. So again, same same concept here. Go stairs. Oh, what do we need? We need two more logs. Yeah, so it's all about, obviously, it's a survival game. So it's all about cutting logs and 
stuff like that to try and survive. But obviously, I love this type of game. You know our channel. Obviously, we play games like obviously Imperium and The Forest and things like that. So obviously, I, I am very, very keen on these type of games. I mean, at the minute, even though you've got food, I can't necessarily see the need for food unless it's to do with health. So I don't know if you necessarily need all the food. I don't quite know how it works. Because I can't see no, like, hunger. But yet you've got health. Obviously, the top red bar's health. And then you've got stamina. And then you've got strength, I think that is. But, yeah, you've got food, but I can't see no hunger or anything. Or thirst or anything like that in the game yet. But obviously, that could come. Right, so we can snap that there. Beautiful. Have that right in the middle, very nice. Right, turn light on and off, okay. We have a we have a flashlight, which is like on our waist there. So whichever way you sort of point, which is cool. Uh check the map, okay. Where are we? Right, we're we're right here. Right, so in our first our first look playthrough, we were sort of in roughly in the same area. I think we were up here a little bit, so that's nice, I guess. It's obviously procedurally generated, so you start in a different place each time. That's cool. Right, so let's build the equipment thing. So that's that, that, that. What do we need? Oh, we need some more iron. We just need some more iron. So we've got to go back to the road. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to actually go too far away. Uh, let's get our knife out. Right, so we need to go back. If I remember rightly, we need to go back to the road. I'm sure it's these white ones that you can eat as well. Let's have a quick look. Uh, they, yeah, they give plus one health. The red ones are minus five. So you must... And that's minus ten and condition minus ten. Yeah, so there must be a way that you can use them though. Um, so I know there was a house somewhere. Do you want to try and avoid that? We do need to try and make it to the road. Yeah, so these we are actually edible, so... Wait, where the hell am I? Because I'm completely lost now. Oh! Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, no. Bear's right behind me. Help me. Okay, where's my base? Stop. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, okay. What the hell is that all about? I didn't see no bear. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's revive. Um, oh, mate, what? Oh, mate, we lost all our stuff. No. Where's our base? I'm not seeing it on the map. Unless that's it. Oh, it might be. That's where we died. Oh, so maybe we can go and get our stuff back. Uh, I do need this iron, though, so that was quite handy. I guess the problem we've got, though, is obviously if we died over there, is the bear still over there? Oh, mate. Hang on a sec. There's a lady there. Mate, that scared the hell out of me. That bear come out of nowhere, bro. Can hear something. I'm guessing they're in the house. Yeah, we were near this rock, weren't we, I think? Oh, here we go. 
Uh, take all. Yay, we've got all our stuff back. Beautiful. Yeah, but where's that freaking bear gone? See, if I eat something, I haven't I got... Ah, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, so your health and that goes down if you don't eat in, in a certain amount of time. Right, now where the hell... Where the hell is our base? Maybe over here somewhere? I just want to go back home. I want to go back to my base now. Mind you, that bear was right where our base is. Mate, I didn't even hear it. Come out of nowhere. I think I'm. Sh I think you should have a little icon where your base is. I'm gonna keep picking up mushrooms because I can eat them. And what was that? I'm proper scared now. Is that it? Yay! We found it. That's a freaking wolf, bro. Back off. Yes. Yes, back off, wolf. Uh, give me Chucky Bar. Fall off again. Boom. Can we... Oh, we can. We can skin it. Jeez, well, this hasn't gone to plan. <laughs> What do we get from that? Wolf skin, wolf bone, animal intestine, meat, nice. Wait, this is dangerous. This is not even like dangerous, like fun danger. Oh, I need one more piece of iron as well. You are joking me. Right, I need to. Can I map this? If I like put a waypoint, I'll just leave a waypoint there. Then I know where I, I know where my base is. Yeah. What's that? Ah, oh, okay. Right, we need to eat again. I think. Let's try these white ones. Well, that's not really helping. Right, I'm gonna try. I'm going to try and head back, yeah, like there. Like I want to go, oh, there's that bear. No, was that a bear? That didn't look like a bear. It wasn't running like a bear. There's like a person there, but I need that car. Right, I'm proper on edge now. Jesus. Oh, my heart's still beating. Right, so have I got enough to build it now? Right, we have. Right, okay. Right, so let's go back. Let's go back to base. I'm just following my marker. Trying to keep an extra eye out now for bears and wolves. Because I don't know where he come from. Let's haul it. Right, I think I need to make some doors and stuff as well. But I'm trying to follow like the tutorial. Right, equipment, build... Okay, let's try and have that. Which way round is it exactly this way? Let's have it here. Right, 
Oh, very nice. Make a bow. Okay. Is that from here? Alright, we can already make the bow. Beautiful. Uh, make a sleeping bag. Okay, is that from here as well? No. Oh, I'm an idiot. B. Then this box. Utility. Sleeping bag. We need two more pieces of cloth. Really? I mean, I've got to go back out. I've got to go back to the road. Mate, I should have built closer to the road. think it's the only place you can get cloth from. So I can't think of anywhere else to get cloth from. Alright, she's still moseying on over there. Oh, there are people in that house. I've just seen them. Nope. Maybe we can get cloth on the boxes, maybe. I suppose we're not too far away from here. I suppose we're far enough out to not be troubled. Oh, there you go. Research material and piece of cloth. Piece of cloth. Nice. Can we get piece of cloth from, like, cars? Oh, I'm watching you. Piece of iron. Oh, yeah. Piece of cloth. Piece of rubber. Iron plate. Nice. Hopefully she don't see me. Seems like they're pretty stupid. So that suits me perfectly. Well, I'm trying not to run too much. I guess I should. Just got to be careful with our stamina. Oh, piggy! This place is teeming with life. I'm sort of worried I ever did it now. Built here. Thought I'd be safe. Right, so we press B. Box. Utility. Sleeping bag. Build. Uh, let's have the sleeping bag. Let's just say in this corner. Right uh, there. Our revival point. Yes, yeah, so we can revive here now. Beautiful. Uh, create a small animal trap. Yeah, but as in small as in like going to catch bears small. Uh, animal, small animal trap, what do we need? A boulder? Stone produced when a boulder is crushed. A boulder? That says to me we're going to need the pickaxe to maybe smash up these rocks. Uh, can we make, oh we can make a pickaxe. Well let's make it anyway. Might come in handy. Let's leave the bow there. Right, let's try and see if this works. Let's hit this one up. There you go, is that one? Can we... No, we can't click on that. we just got to keep smashing it, maybe? Piece of iron, iron ore. Okay, but that was a black one. That's a slightly different colour. Maybe different coloured ones give you different things, maybe? Yeah, look, this is a different coloured one. Let's see. If different coloured rocks give you different materials, that's cool. I like that, if that is the case. <clears throat> so I've got plenty of animals running around here. Stone, boulder, limestone. Oh, it is. Oh, that's really cool, man. So, yeah, so different different coloured stones actually give you different resources. That's really nice. What the hell is that? That look, It looks like a pig, but it looks like the size of a bear. What the hell? Right, we need to put down a trap, don't we? Let's not get carried away here. Small animal trap, build. Oh, yeah, that's not going to... That's not going to trap a bear. Uh, I'm thinking maybe putting it like in the open a little bit though. Actually, let's not go too far, eh? Let's put it. Let's put it here. Right. Then, what, do we need to do anything with that, or 
Do we just leave it to work? I don't know. Create a research table. Okay. Um, what's that? B. Then that. And what was it? Oh, I can't see it now. Uh, B, that, utility. Research table. Oh, mate, what's this? Lumbar and wooden plank. A piece of lumber made by trimming down a tree. It can be made on the material production table. A wooden plank made by trimming down a tree. It can be made on the material production table. Rope. Rope made of cloth. It can be made on the crafting table. That's crafting. So we need to make... Hang on a minute. So do we need to make the material production table and the crafting table before this? So why wouldn't it tell me to do that before the research table? That's a bit strange, isn't it? But yeah, unfortunately, guys, I have run out of time. So that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully, if you want to see more, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. And it really does help me out. It lets me know what you guys are interested in seeing and what you're not. So yeah, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me in the description down below is all my contact details. So you can go and check all that out. Uh, if you guys would also like to be in with a chance of winning a giveaway at 500 subs, don't forget to be subscribed as well. Uh, yeah, don't forget to join the Discord so I can notify you if you win. And also, don't forget to smash that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video and when I live stream as well. So yeah, so until the next time guys, have a good one, stay safe out there. Peace out.